Avengers, we had a super quiet training session last time. Let's hope it lasts. Yes, let's hope, but I don't think it will last for long. I agree. So, why don't we take advantage of the quiet while we have it and continue training in fractions? Good idea, fabulous fraction. What do you think the math heroes should do today? Well, last time we made a fraction wall and a number line. So why don't we continue working on fraction number lines? Sounds great. What do you think, Captain Math? I think that you're all absolutely right. Math heroes, you need your whiteboards and your markers. So, go and get them. So, today we are going to continue putting fractions on a number line. Now we know that fractions are numbers too. Fractions are those numbers in between the numbers that we already know so much about. So the first thing you're going to do is draw a number line. Okay? From zero to five, try and make each space on the number line about the same. Okay? So, I have zero, one, two, three, four, and five on my number line. All right? Go ahead and draw your number line. Make sure that you don't have some of these squished together and some of them with big gaps. Try and have each space about the same. You can ask mommy or daddy for help for this one if you need it, because this can be a bit tricky. It took me a few tries to get it right myself. Have you managed? Okay, so let us, let us try and work out if I put a line right in the middle between zero and one, what fraction is that? Very good, that is one half. How about if I put a line right in the middle between 1 and 2? What fraction is that? Well, you're half right. It's not the same as this one. This one is after the 1. So it is 1 and a half. This fraction is smaller than one. It's just a half. This one is after the one. So it is one and a half. What about this one? Well, that's two. If we put, um, if we put a fraction right here in the middle, between the two and the three, what fraction would that be? Good, good, some of you got it. It is two and 
Aha. Uh -huh. It's bigger than two. But it's not up to the three yet. So it's halfway between the two and the three. It is two and a half. Okay. Let's go here past the three and mark the middle number between the three and the four. What fraction would that be? Very good. Three and a half. Okay. Right here in the middle, between the four and the five. What? Ooh, that was fast. You already got it. Well done. Four and a half. So, we can mark, we're counting in halves on this number line. We start with zero, one half. One, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five. Look at that. Very well done. We must search everywhere for the Math Avengers headquarters. James, in every corner of the world. I will send my minions to search high and low. I will search east and west. We will find those math avengers and we will crush them. <laughs> number line. Same way as we did before, starting with zero and finishing with five and putting in the other numbers about the same distance apart. Okay, if you find it difficult, you can ask mommy or daddy to help you with it. Okay, a nice number line with the numbers zero to five on it. Did you manage? Need another minute? Okay. So, now what I want you to do is to think of a number that goes on this number line somewhere. Okay? It's going to be like some of these, one and a half, three and a half, but you're not going to use halves. You're going to use some of the other fractions that we have learned about. Okay, so you're going to think of a number and a fraction and you're going to figure out where it belongs on the number line. For example, you could think of the fraction one and a quarter and figure out where it belongs on the number line. You could think of maybe four and two thirds and figure out where it goes on the number line. All right, so think of a fraction that has a whole number in it and place it where you think it goes on your number line. a good one. Yes, two and a quarter. Well, where would that go? Well, we can see here where two and a half is, and we know that quarter is half of a half, so two and a quarter would go there. That was a very good idea. Well done. Does someone have another one? Yes, yes, four and a third. Well, 
to, to work out thirds, we need, no, we need to um, break this into three equal pieces. So one, two, three equal pieces. So this one must be four and one third. That's good. I like that. Well done. Oh, oh, that's very good. One and three quarters. Okay, so quarters. For quarters, we have to break our number line into one, two, three, four equal pieces. One quarter, two quarter, three quarters. So one and three quarters would be right there. My goodness, I really liked that one. All right, what? Three, a bit louder. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Three and two thirds. All right. Okay, for that, we need to, again, cut this into three equal pieces. Three and two thirds. This is three and one third, so this must be three and two thirds. Okay. What? Too many at once, too many at once. Um, I right. two and three quarters. Okay, two and three quarters. Two and one quarter, two quarters, two and three quarters would go there. That was absolutely fantastic. You guys had such great ideas. Well done.
quarter and one third can go there. We know that a third is bigger than a quarter but smaller than a half. So those can go there. What? Yes, 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 yes. One and a quarter can go there. What? Well, yes, if you're running out of space on your number line, um, maybe you can, you can make another one underneath because I've got quite a big whiteboard and even I'm finding it difficult to squish the numbers in. So if you're finding it difficult, just draw a new number line to add these extra numbers. That's a very good idea. Well done. So what number did you say? Yes, four and two thirds. We've got a line for it. So we might as well put the number in. Yes, two and a half. Two and a half. Now I'm going to draw a line down here so I can write it underneath. Is between two and a quarter and two and three quarters. What else? Yes, three and a third can go right there. Uh, what else? One and two quarters? Yes, it's the same as one and a half. You're absolutely right. So we can say this one is one and two quarters. Now I've noticed that you haven't put in any put in you haven't added any quarters to these or any thirds to these. Shall we do that? Shall we put in a quarter, at least one quarter over here or a third over here? What do you want to do? You want to add a quarter over there? Okay, which quarter do you want to add? Four and a quarter. Oh, I like that. I'll add four and a quarter to your number line. We know that a quarter is smaller than a third. So we know that four and a quarter is going to be before four and a third. So I'm going to put it and I'm going to draw a little zigzaggy line so I can write it properly four and a quarter I can put right there. What? You want to put in three and a half? All right, put in three and a half. Well, where, where would it go? Figure it out. You can look at the number line on top to help you. Yes, very good. Three and a half goes between three and a third and three and two thirds. Three and a half. There we have it. Oh my goodness, how squished my number line is. But we see how we can use everything that we've learned about fractions through our fraction wall yesterday as well to place fractions correctly on a number line. Oh my goodness gracious. Doesn't it look fabulous? Another fabulous day of training, math heroes. So, to complete your training in putting fractions on a number line, do activity book 2C, page 47, and post it to your portfolio. You know, things are around, things around here are a lot nicer when those mathers of anti-mather leave us alone. Let's keep hoping it lasts a very long time. No sign of it yet, but I'll keep looking. I've divided it. Nothing to the east and west. 
I shall start searching north and south. My henchmen have searched every town and city. Where are they? We are close, my friends. I can feel it. And when we find it, we shall not look there.